Hello everyone, my name is Whistler and welcome back to another episode of my Hardcore series. Today, I'll be fighting the Ender Dragon, because, well, it's been long enough, and I've got the End Portal right next to me. But, um, first, I'm, I'm gonna have to take my pets back home, because uh, I don't want to have to walk back all the way over here just to take them back home again. Because, uh, I, I have a broken spawn point, I, I constantly break my bed, and I don't have to, I don't want to have to walk all the way back here. So I may as well take them back home now. And, uh... You know what, I'm just gonna put a button here for this door. I think I think that'll work. Oh, I, I need another one. Um, okay. And there we go, that's it, that's the that's the second button. That can do. But yeah, let's go back home for now. And I'll be back very, very soon. Everything's very, very dark down here, but it's, it's fine, it's fine. There's a drowned there. Okay, yep. And there's the swamp. It's the beginning of a day. That's all I need. Here are my pets. Hello, Piper. Hello, suppose a lot. It's time to get you back home. I told you I'd come back from the stronghold. I made a promise and I kept it. But yeah, let's go. I'm still really, really scared of this uh, this dark oak forest. I still feel like there's creepers around every corner. Here's the bee farm. I still need to landscape this side of it, unfortunately. But um, I, I can do that in the future at some point. Yeah, we're home. And I think I, I don't want you to come into the dragon fight with me. And I'm not going to be able to get you down to the stronghold anyway, so... I'm gonna have to sit you down here. Sorry guys, I'll come back for you. I promise. Everything will be fine. Now I've got to ditch some of these resources that I got from the stronghold. <laughs> they're, they're filling up my entire inventory. I, I I don't need to bring that stuff. But yeah, I promise. I, I'll come back for you. I won't leave you two here alone. But yes, back to the stronghold because I think I've got everything prepared. I've got arrows, I've got locks, I've got potions. I'm fully armoured. Fully enchanted. Well, almost fully enchanted. I love the look of swamps underwater. I've got to do something with that effect at some point. That sort of natural fog effect. I need a pumpkin as well. I don't think I'll wear it for the entirety of the dragon fight, just because I hate how much of my vision it obscures. But just in case I get to an, into a pickle, I'm uh, I'm gonna bring that. So there we go. Now, gotta get back down there. Got some dolphin's grace. I love that. <laughs> this dolphin's come to see me off. Oh, I knew I had a special connection. Oh no no no! Get get back out get out get back outside. I can't I can't have you down here. Uh, even the dolphin came to see me off. That that's that's adorable. Okay, let's uh let's see how this goes. Right. Okay. Back in the portal room. Why can't you see the end portal from beneath? That's so weird. But yeah, this is a, a bit scary. Let's just make sure I've got everything. Got arrows, got coarse dirt for blocks, I've got potions of strength, potions of slow falling. Everything should be good enough here. Just gonna drink those potions before I go in. Just to make sure I'm very, very ready. I don't want to be knocked off the spawning platform in the middle of the void or something like that. That would be a disaster. But yes, I think I think we're ready. I don't know what else I would need to do. So, uh, on that note, I guess uh, it's time we jump in. Oh, we're in. Okay, okay, let, let, let's get out. We're completely surrounded. No! Seriously, lag? Please, please don't lag out my game. Oh, no, please stop with the lag. I don't, I don't want to lose my world because of lag. I think it's just generating the world around me and it's having trouble. But yeah, I've got to dig out of this, uh, this little spawning platform area. At least I'm not out over the void. That could have been awkward. But I, I I do have blocks, but it's still it's still a bit sketchy, really. I think. But yes, uh, there's 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 the pillars. I hear the dragon. I don't know where she is. But uh, first things first. I think I want to uh, make an infinite water source, just in case. And uh, I guess I'll put that around here. I guess. This one there. One there. And oh, that didn't go there. Okay. Um. I'll just try and fill that out properly. Okay, that's that's fine. No, oh, hmm. Okay, yeah, that uh, that'll do for now. Right, I've got my I've got my water bucket. Oh, I should probably fill up the other one too. Right, there we go. Right, time to move. I guess it's time we start destroying these pillars. So, well, I'm sure everyone knows this game's been out for ten years. I'm over that. But yeah, these pillars heal the dragon, so I've got to. I've got to destroy the end crystals on top of it. Got to destroy all of them very systematically and actually hit them. 
I'm, I'm a pretty bad shot, really, to be honest. But one by one, got to take them all down. Because, uh, oh, there's not really much else to do, is there? It's the th necessary thing. Why do I feel like my bows, my, my arrows aren't going the full mile? Like, uh, I, I, I swear I've pulled it back, like, almost all the way, and it's just not it's getting up there. Although, to be honest, I, I'm, I am missing a lot of them just naturally, really. But yeah, for this these caged ones, you don't actually need to pillar up all the way. You can actually shoot through the gap, as you've shown, through, right here. There you go. Easy. You don't need to go up there and risk your life by mining the, the cages and punching the the end crystal or anything like that. You can just shoot through the corner. And then it goes bang. Because uh, the hitbox of iron bars, see there's another one, it's uh, it's very easy to sh shoot through. I'm, I'm glad that we're able to do that. It just makes this slightly easier. And I think that was most of them, so I, I guess uh, it's, it's time we start shooting at this girl. Sorry, Ender Dragon, your time is up. Right, I, I should probably put Ender Pearls in my hotbar. That that would probably be useful, just in case uh, I get thrown out over the void or something. And I'll I'll grab some of this Dragon's Breath too, because I I can. Although I can't, I think I've lost that bottle that I just threw in there because uh, I can't I can't go in there without taking damage. And given that this is hardcore, I really don't feel like going in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, let, let's shoot the Dragon some more. Uh, oh, I think I'll. I, I still haven't destroyed all the towers. That's a that's a rookie mistake. That that's very much of a rookie mistake. That, I'll, I'll just deal with that. So um, well, I'm very wary of the, the fact that the Ender Dragon can uh, she can charge you after she's been on this pillar, and I don't want to be knocked off of anything right now. Right, she she turns around, goes straight for where I was. But yeah, so just try and shoot up there again. So I think, oh my, my slow falling ran out, but <laughs> I'd better uh, redo that. But yeah, so I'm going to have to pill her up here. She's over there. Okay. Right. Just do that here. Oh, no, mistake. Get out, get out. That stuff would kill you. Very, It kills you very, very quickly, Dragon's Breath. You want to get out of there as fast as possible if, you, if she throws that at your face. But yeah, let's pull her up again from here. I can't hear her, so I don't think she's nearby. Okay, um, bit by bit, block by block. Almost there. Well, it's a bit far away now, I guess. But yeah, oh, no. Okay, I guess I'm not doing that. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. At least I have slow falling. I don't need to worry about getting a water bucket or anything like that. But yeah, let's uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, you just want to pillar up on these blocks if you can't hit the towers with your bow because they're too tall or something like that. And just pillar up. You'll be able to go all the way to the top. Okay, that's, that dragon's breath is below me. I don't need to worry about that. And then uh, once you're there... Oh, one more block. And I'm just going to jump off and shoot it from here because I don't want to be anywhere near that thing when I blow it up. Oh, careful now. Careful now, dragon. I don't want to be killed by you. <laughs> Please don't eat me. But um, yeah, so I think we can start shooting her now, properly. Careful not to look at the, the Enderman. <laughs> uh, I, I should be wearing a pumpkin right now, but I, I just don't like wearing one. It's, it, it blinds me so much. There's one more end pillar. Why is there another one? Oh, right, okay. Uh, I'm going to have to pillar up again, I think, because... Uh, I'm not get, I'm not managing to get up there. Um, what if I? Oh, I'm a bit wary of her charging me again. So, can I shoot it from here? That's a no. Okay. Uh, oh, she's coming for me. Oh, oh, this this is a chance, a chance, a chance. No, 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 oh, oh, wasted. <laughs> That was my chance. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll just pillar it from here. And then we'll shoot it on from uh, the other, from this pillar instead of that one. I think that'll work out. So, up, block by block. It's very easy to do. And the thing about core stone, it is, it is very easy to remove. And, yep, yeah, okay, we're safe. Destroy that. Bang. 
Okay. I'll just slowly float back down again. <laughs> this is why I like slow falling in this fight. It's, it's, it just makes it so much easier. But yeah, I was—I will admit, I was a bit nervous coming into this because I've never fought the dragon in hardcore before. This is my first hardcore world. But um, I've never had issues with this fight. But just the fact that it is hardcore is enough to make me a little bit nervous. And let's see, I've—I've—I've I've, I've, I've gotten scared again. I don't want to be thrown up in the air. So uh, I think slow falling had come off just then. Uh, right. Okay. I don't know why I shot her while she's still on the pillow, because you can't, you can't hit her with arrows while she's sat there. Oh, I, I hear Enderman noises. That, that's not, that's not targeted at me, is it? No, no, I think the Enderman's just angry at the, uh, at the dragon. Okay, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Whew. Right, come back here, dragon. Oh, get some more dragon's breath, because why not? Right, where is she, where is she? Um, just put another slow falling potion in my hot bar. Yeah, where is she? There she is. Come on. Let's see if I can't hit her from here. She's really far away. Alright. Okay. Oh, I think she's coming back down to land again. That's 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 cool with me. You can come down if you want. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even notice that! <laughs> Let's just walk straight into Dragon's Breath. Well, this, that was clever of me. Right. That's not aimed at me, I didn't look at it. Oh! Okay. Yeah, this is why you bring slow falling potions. Because <laughs> it's, it's the Ender Dragon just throws you up so often. It's like. You, you want that? Oh. For, to that Enderman, I guess. <laughs> right, okay. Um, where is. Uh, I, I, I want more slow falling potions. I think I've got more in my, my ender chest, and I should probably use that potion too. But yeah, oh, gotta get out of there. I always know when that sound that she makes when she fires a, a fireball, that is always aimed at you, so you you know you've got to move. But yeah, I, I want to get my, my other potions out of this ender chest, so just in case. Right, just got a, a little under half health. Come on. Just a few more shots. I, I wanted to come back down again. Oh, now I'm in a bad spot. No. Oh, she's going to come into land and I'm not going to be able to hit her now because she's just going to carp the entire place with Dragon's Breath. Oh dear. That was my bad. Right. Right. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait. <laughs> I'll have to wait until she gets out. So uh, I, I can't hit her while, while that's there. Right. Okay. She's up again. Come back, please. Just drawing my blocks, but that's okay. I don't need that anymore. Pillars are useless. Pillars are done. But yes, sniper from far, far away. Come on. Why am I such a bad shot? <laughs> oh, at times like this, I wish I was better. But uh, I'm just not. I'm just missing all of these shots. It's, it's a common occurrence with, this, with these fights too. Like most of my damage comes in from a. Uh, a melee, I think. Oh, I think I think this is it. One more hit. One more hit. Okay, mighty blue stick. Come on, we, we've got this. We've got this. Right. Okay. There we go. She's gone. She's done. <laughs> oh wait, I, I should probably put a pumpkin now. Um, right. F1. Beautiful. Right. Got all that XP. Got all that XP. Right. Okay. Let's get this. Oh no! I should be smart about this. Repair the tools. Repair the tools. Right. The shovel. Where's that? Okay. And yeah, col collecting on that. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's almost full. Is it glitching out? I can't really quite tell. Or is it one XP orb for each tool? Like, is it is it not shared equally all those EXP? Oh dear, I wasted a lot of that. I could have healed my, my axe up properly, but unfortunately I didn't. But yeah, we did it! We beat the Ender Dragon! Isn't that great? <laughs> okay, that that's uh, that, that means I beat Minecraft, right? I beat it in hardcore. First try. Awesome! I'm happy I, I, I didn't die here, because uh, I, I, I had built a few things already, and you know, that's, that's progress. I, I don't want to lose my progress. I have a lot of plans for this world. 
But yeah, this is officially the beginning. The beginning of the world. I know I've already had... Well, this is the 12th episode, but yeah, okay. Um, right, we should probably collect this egg now, though. So to do that, I'll just put some blocks here, just below the egg, stopping it from... Uh, I think it stops it from teleporting into the portal? Or at least it might just be for me, but yeah. I'll just, uh, I'll just block this off. And then what you want to do now is you want to punch it. Just like so. And it's gone. Where is it? There it is. Okay. And now you just need to drop it on top of a torch. So to do that, just need to dig a little hole. Can I see the, the FM? No, I can't. Okay. Dig a little hole. And uh, beneath that block, you just need to put one torch. And then you need to fill in this again. Very easy. And then break that block. And the the dragon egg will break, and it'll be dropped as an item. And there we go, the next generation. Awesome. That's my egg now. Beautiful. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad this, uh, this journey has turned out well. That means I get to go home again and finish off my projects. All the things I've wanted to do in this world, there's, there's quite a few. Quite a few of them are pretty large too. Like, Omega large. But yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, go back through this portal and remove all these blocks. I'll probably teleport through. Oh, this will be a good test, actually. It'll show me where the uh, where the world spawn is, I think. Is, is it the world spawn that the items go to? They don't go to zero, zero. They go to somewhere else. Um, yeah, let's go back. Oh! Oh, I beat Minecraft! <laughs> Excellent. Okay. <laughs> I'd, I'd just like to thank my mum, my dad, my family, my friends, and all you viewers, too. You're all awesome. Thank you very much. But yes, um, let, let's go. Right, okay, we're back. We're back here. Okay, where, where's, uh, where, where's the world spawn? It should be, it should be here somewhere. Is it a zero zero? Where would zero zero be? Um, just gotta look around for it, I guess. Um, hmm. Right, okay, so I'm like 54 blocks, 27 blocks, and... Oh, there they are! Okay. Oh! Oh, I should have put those on the shovel! Oops, that's a mistake. But yeah, okay. So this block right here, that will be where all items go in the future. And is it the centre of the spawn chunks? Is that how that works? Is that the world spawn? I'd, I'd quite like an answer there. I'm not quite sure how it works properly. There's a genuine question. Yes, back home I am. It's not too far away from there. It's literally, I think, just outside of the spawn chunks. Yeah, I've ditched some of the items because it's filling up my inventory. But hello! Hello, pets. I've come back. I've returned. I told you I'd come back. Oh, oh I, I should probably feed you too, so it buzz a lot. Kill this salmon! Right, there we go. That, that's all I needed. <laughs> but yes, Piper's had her food. Now it's time for you, so it a lot. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, It's literally purring. <laughs> okay. Well then. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I need to put the dragon egg in a very particular place. I have a chest of first, a chest of valuables, and the dragon egg is going straight in there. And it's right, this chest right here. So it's got my first armor in there, it's got my first pickaxe, my first sword, my first shield, my first diamond, my first music disc, my first full iron set of armor, like, enchanted. Uh, my diamond, my diamond's armor is probably going to go in there at some point, when the nether update arrives maybe. I should probably make a museum for this at some point, I don't know where, but for now it's it's just going to be this. Um, it's this one single chest. I will, I will find a better place for all this eventually. But yeah, we're done! I beat the ender dragon! The goal has been achieved. So uh, I'm going to have to move on to some other stuff I guess. Uh, I need a lot of gold. Uh, for curing villagers, so that's what we're going to do next. Let's go caving in the Mesa. This gold spawns more frequently there. So unfortunately, Piper, I'm going to have to sit you down here, and suppers a lot. I'm going to have to sit you down here too, because uh, I don't want you wandering around the caves with me. I'm sorry. We all have to sit here for a while. We'll be okay, I promise. And you know what? I'm just going to have to move up the roof of this thing. It's, it's annoying me. <laughs> I may as well do that now, while it's here in front of me before I forget. Oh, that's the, that's the room upstairs, I think. The 
the, the lava room that I covered up. Oh, there's still lava. Okay, uh, no, don't you pour down on me. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna have to go up there and uh, clear out this, this thing out. So I'm up here. Let's clear this thing out. Um, because I, I don't want lava pouring onto my face just because... Uh, oh, there's some. So I, I'd quite like to move the roof up. Like, it's a bit low. I've, I've been meaning to do this for, a, for ages. I, I've also mean, been meaning to actually finish this underground base. It's just been sort of there for a very long time. That, that, that's fine. It doesn't have to be done ASAP, this uh, this mine shaft. Yeah, we're done. I think. Let's let's see how it looks. Is it a lot more open? Oh yes, that that's that's much better. Okay, I'm I'm I much prefer this. I'll I'll just remove these blocks too though. Right, let's go get some gold. Upwards and outwards to the Mesa, to the Badlands. I love how they look like that. They're very they're very scenic, and I I love the look of the sun rising over that mountain too. It's it's beautiful. There's the first cave, and a creeper's come out to say hello. Hello. Die, sir. But yeah, um, oh, there's some gold right there. That's uh, that's some good luck. Just take this coal, though, because I need torches. Right, so I've got torches. Let's just light up this cave as far as possible for now. And I'll get... Oh. Why are the caves always so short for me? I, I walk in like ten blocks and they're gone. Right, let's... Oh. <laughs> I am an idiot. <laughs> right, okay. There's a cave over there. I'll, 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 I don't think there's sand that can fall on my face there. Let's see what this is like. Hello. Oh, mobs. Okay. Oh, that, that's, that's easy enough to deal with, I think. There's another creeper. Right, okay. They're not here. They're somewhere around the corner. Okay, just like that. Oh, there they are. Right, okay. Shield. Oh. Oof. I thought the creeper would die. I wasn't expecting it to be blown to the side. <laughs> that was very dangerous. I, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have just done that. I should have just killed them. Right, there's a skeleton. Oi. Right. I can. I can run away from him and just light up the area. There's another skeleton. Not today, sir. Oh, hello. <laughs> Came straight out of nowhere. Jeez. Right. Okay. Go away. Die, you silly mobs. Okay, we're done. But yeah, I've got all these resources, all these gold for villager curing. You know, I probably should make a gold farm at some point, but I'm not entirely sure where I'd want to put it. Is this... This is some... This isn't a mineshaft. <laughs> this is an exposed mineshaft. Does that mean... Uh, I should probably go looking for um, the minecarts. There we go. Let's make sure this is lit. Okay, what's in here? Golden apple. <laughs> oh, I could have done with that at the start of the world. I, I should have just opened these. This, I don't. Right. This this exposed mine shaft is literally just a stone's throw from the spawn island. It's right there. And oh, got some iron. And oh no. Seriously, sharpness four is just a stone's throw away from where I spawned. Why? Why? I wish I'd noticed. This is a this is a very cool hole just here. I I very much like this hole. This is very cool generation. Right, I'm, uh, I've gotten bored of finding caves because they all lead nowhere. So, uh, time to make my own little cave to the underworld. To the caves of Minecraft. Okay. That's, that's a cave right there. Okay. Is it okay? I hear something in there. There's a zombie, there's a skeleton, there's a witch. Okay. Better be re prepared. Right. Go up here first. Oop, let's... Okay, that's that's one way of dealing with that. See, this is why you should go around with a shield in hardcore. Literally everywhere. Stop laughing at me, witch. You're about to die. Where, where is she? There she is. Right, okay. Come on. Come on. There you go. Right. <laughs> Hi, zombies. Uh, it, it's... Uh, I know you want my brains, but... Uh, they're not for you. They're for me. They're my brains. Oh, this, this, uh, this just leads straight back here. Hello, Creeper. See, this is why I like Knockback 2. It's because you can knock the Creepers far away from you. Very, very easily. Hi, zombies. Time to die. You know, this trip is serving very well to get me some iron, too. I need a lot of that for, for hoppers. I need to set up an iron farm, really, but... 
I don't want to make one of those until I have an elytra, because I have some very cool plans for that. It's going to be very, very cool. Uh, I'm just going to have to bridge across this, because uh, I don't want to... I don't fancy dropping into that cave below me. Just put some blocks there, and a nice little rail for me, so I don't get knocked off. And, uh... What, what's, what is this cave? Let's, let's just give this a look. And... Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm in a ravine! No! Get out, get out! That's dangerous. Creepers can drop from everywhere, see? <laughs> that one could have dropped from above and, uh... nuked the life out of me. But unfortunately, it is dead. And I hear spiders. Oh, that's a cave spider. <laughs> oh no, that means there's a there's a mine shaft here. Okay, means I'm also very near to a spider spawner somewhere nearby. I don't know where that might be though. So I haven't come across it yet. I haven't even seen the mine shaft. Oh, there it is. Okay. Right. Okay. So I, I should probably light that up. Hello, zombie. Oh look, these zombies are very happy to see me. They're my biggest fans. Hello. Hello. They, they really want to give me a hug, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not in a very giving mood. But yeah, I should uh, I should probably try to light up these uh, these uh, these cave spider spawners, because um, I don't want them spawning cave spiders around me and killing me somehow. Although I have noticed that they don't really damage me that much with uh, all the armor I have. Hello, creepers. Um, get away from me. There is a lot of mobs here. <laughs> Why are there so many creepers? Like, just necessarily here. Right, just blow up. Everyone blow up. There we go. That, that's... That sorted that problem out. Oh! That's a... That's a spider spawner right there. And... You know what? I think... There was a... There was a spider spawner right beneath this, I think. I think this is a jewel... Cave spider spawner. So... I've got this one here. This, uh, this corridor. And then I've also got... One down there. Okay. That, that's very cool. I might have to set up a little farm for this. So, uh, is it is it more efficient than a uh, one single ordinary cave spider one single ordinary spider spawner? I've got to I've got to do some research on this, but I don't think the spawners for cave spiders expand out so far. Am I right about that, or am I wrong? Tell me in the comments. I'd I'd like to know whether I should make the switch or not. And then this is actually a different spawner here. Like it looks like I'm on the other side of it, but I think. No, but I know this is actually a different one. I found some diamonds. <laughs> I should probably collect those. But yeah, I have uh, I have three spawners here. I'm just wondering if I can activate all three of them at once. I don't know if I can or not, though. I should probably fill those in. I don't want to fall through the floor. Especially not that floor. That, that floor can go away. Um, but yeah, I'll just dig out some line of sight, and then I can work out if they're active or not. So that's one down there, so I'll just make that a little bit visible from the midway point. So that's the one spawner there, it's active there, and okay, I was worried that might be the case. Where does it start being active? Oh, that's miles away. Okay, I can't make use of that unfortunately. Uh, that's a shame. Well, at least I've got a, a double cave spider spawner right here though, that, that's very cool. I've actually got a, a triple cave spider in my, uh, my mega base world. Um, that mega base is actually uh, sitting right on top of the triple cave spider spawner. It's great. Got very easy access to string and spider eyes from there. And here I'm going to do something very stupid. I want to show everyone why it's a bad idea to run along the bottom of ravines. So I'm going to try and get a creeper to drop on top of me. Just to give a good demonstration of why you should never do this, especially in hardcore. <laughs> So they, they will kill you. So uh, I'll just run along the bottom of this ravine. Let's see, there we go. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> and uh, they can kill you. They will kill you. Even if you're running, like they'll just they'll just kamikaze you. You'll die. So uh, I should probably get out of here. I think my demonstration is done. But yeah, that's uh, that was that was a good uh, gold harvesting harvesting session. I've also gotten a lot of iron out of that, which is very good because I wanted to make a wool farm in the next episode. And that needs a lot of hoppers. So, uh, and a lot of minecarts too. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad that that went well. I have survived another caving trip. This one with a mine shaft. Very cool. And we're back. Just break that boat. There you go. Okay, so uh, I should probably put these resources away, shouldn't I? 
Now, I'd actually like to move all these resources up from here because this area is going to be... Uh, I'm going to get rid of it in the next episode, I think. So, I'm just going to start that off with uh, one double chest here. There we go. And I'll put all the uh, the resources I got here. So that's all of the stuff that I got from the trip. Or most of it. Or half of it. A lot of it went into my ender chest as well. So uh, I'll, I'll take... I won't put the ores in. I'll, I'll take them down to the to the mineshaft with me. And the diamond ores are going to go in here. I'm going to keep those. I don't want to break them. It's a point where actual diamonds are useless. So I may as well keep the diamond ores for decoration. I'll put the gold in there. And the iron in there as well. And I should have more in here. There we go. Let's grab those. And uh, the coal ore too. And the lapis. And I'll put the gold and the iron in here. That's that's plenty. And uh, I'll set that off. But yeah, it's time for me to mine these coal ores. I think I'll uh, do a very, very short time lapse of that. I'll make a, like, a little beacon out of it. And I'll mine it all, and I'll show you how much I got. And there we go, we're done. That, <laughs> that gave me all this coal, that was, that was brilliant. I, I, I loved that. I tried to mend my axe a little bit while I was mining, but it didn't go up very, very, very much. But yeah, this is enough. That's uh, that's enough for a stack in each furnace down back in the mine shaft. This is, uh, this is pretty much all done. And on that note, I think uh, it's time for me to end the episode. We've done a lot today. We've killed the Ender Dragon. That, that's, that's cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, then I hope you return. And if you do return, then I guess I'll see you next time. So on that note, bye! Thanks for watching.